Welcome back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Con Ritual. alongside Gene Collier, and we're taking your phone calls tonight, 412-575-2600. An exciting World Series game, 5-3 uh, right now, Boston. Um, you know, I, I did, was that us two that we're, we were talking about that asked us our prediction of the, the World Series? I, I thought it was an American League team that was going to win, and I still stand by that. I think Boston will win in five. Boston in five. All right. Let's go back out to the phone lines, and we're going to go out to Ernie out in Monroeville. What's up, Ernie? Yes. Yes, I want to talk about the Steelers. Okay. Um, my thing is, if you got a chance to get a good cornerback, as Peterson, that you have, and um, my thing is, the Steelers don't do good in first-round draft picks. If they can come out of the first round, if he's just going to cost them a first-round draft pick, and maybe you can give up one of the cornerbacks that they have, and, and without shuffling around, you lock, you got Patterson, you lock down two corners, which they need. Yeah. I think they need, and and you can go in the second round and maybe get another defensive back or whichever they Or a need. running back. They got Le'Veon Bell in the second round. It doesn't sound like a bad deal. I mean, I would do it. I don't know if, um, you know, Arizona's saying they don't want to trade Peterson. Uh, but you'd have him for two and a half years, essentially, at a, at a decent price for a really good cornerback. Well, that's one thing. Arizona has not said that, the, that he's available. Yeah, I mean, he said he. That's still, a, yeah. he's the only one saying, you know, trade me. Uh, the Cardinals might not do that. Yeah, and, um, but, I mean, but, yeah, I, they I mean, need a cornerback. We agree. I think everybody on this show has agreed uh, we would trade a first-round pick for him. I would. Uh, Nathan Heinz just tweeted us, uh, regardless if it's Peterson or not, Steelers need to trade for a solid cornerback. I don't know who else is available, but, I mean, the New Orleans Saints just traded for, trade for Eli, Eli Apple. Apple. Fourth and a seventh rounder. I mean, mm -hmm. that's, that's a good gamble, too. So, I, I think they're, uh, from what Tomlin was saying today in the press conference, saying that, you know, he, he's got to face adversity, I, I think they're not, they're, they, they want to see what Artie Burns can do, essentially. Yeah, he's got to make some big steps in a hurry, that's for sure. All right, back out to the phone lines. We're going to go out to Scott. Baldwin. What's Hi, up, guys. Scott? Hey, thanks What's for up? calling. Yeah, uh, real qu I know it's early to talk about next season baseball season. No, I love but... talking about baseball. Go ahead. Well, I'm afflicted with pirate anxiety. So I was just wondering. <laughs> so you don't have pirate's fever? <laughs> Bucko I fever. I have fever. I have yeah. the anxiety. I yeah. got it all. But... I've got the shakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already looking forward to the next. But my th uh, question is, what do you think the pirates priorities ought to be going in next year on uh, getting some help that we, that we do need on the team. All right, thanks for your call, Scott. I mean, what, what's their biggest priority, Gene? The Pirates need a big bat in the middle of the lineup, and they won't pay for it. But that's, that's the big priority. Um, <clears throat> Where would that bat go, though? I mean, if you want it, ideally, what, first base, uh, but then you can't give up on Josh Bell. First base. Third base. Any outfield position. Polanco won't play until June. Uh, left field, third base. I mean, if you had a, uh, if you had um, Machado, for example, he could go anywhere he wanted to go, and that's what the Pirates need. They they don't produce runs. They don't hit home runs. Uh, that's their biggest fault. They allowed one more run than they scored. They, you can't win a division like that. Yeah, they're an average team. They finish with an average record, and that's what they'll be unless they get a big bat. They have the pitching to win. They've, sh they've shown well, everything that. Well, they have the pitching to contend, that's for sure. Uh, and that's from the back of the bullpen to the top of the rotation. They, you know, they, they're very serviceable and uh, at the top even really good. So, yeah, I don't think that's their problem. They need offense, and they need, the, they need somebody in the middle of that lineup who can hit 30 homers and drive in 100 runs. And they have not ha had that player since Pedro Alvarez left. And what worries me about the Pirates, uh, I, you know, I'm afraid that they're going to uh, do what they've done in the past where they're going to try to replace Polanco for those two months with someone that they already have here or rotate mm -hmm. guys and not go out and get that free agent. That's right. And they've had opportunities they, they, last year to, to get a couple guys. I mean, it's a, it's a buyer's market, right? Well, they, <clears throat> their assessment was that they needed starting pitching and pitcher, and that's what they did. You know, they sold out to get... Um, I already forgot his name. Archer, Chris Archer. Yeah. Um, you know, that, that didn't work out too well, but Chris Archer is still really being counted on that rotation. All right, we've got to take a break. Back to wrap things up. Coming up next, stay right there.